everyone, and welcome to the RV Inspection and Care podcast and video. I'm Dwayne, and I'm a certified RV inspector. And today, we're going to be talking about the top three Class C RVs under 30 feet of length. RVs come in all sizes and shapes, and that's for sure. And that's a good thing, because there's no one size that fits everybody when it comes to RVing. So today, in this video and podcast, we're going to focus in on the smaller Class C motorhomes. There are some that like the big motorhomes, you know, the rolling apartments going down the road on wheels, and that's great for them. But there's lots of RVers that want a smaller, more nimble rig that's easier to move around. So when they look for that, well, it can be a challenge to find a Class A RV under 30 feet. And when you look at Class Bs, well, they're great. They're certainly under 30 feet, but they just don't have a lot of living area for extended trips. So the good news is you can find Class C RVs, many of them under 30 feet of length. The challenge is that the Class C segment of the RV industry seems to be filled with brands that put out some subpar products in many cases and not very good customer service after the sale. So this video and podcast is really going to be my list of the top three better quality Class Cs under 30 feet from brands that are known for quality and customer service. So let's go ahead and get started on that list. And number one on the list is Integra. They make the Odyssey. The Odyssey has four floor plans under 30 feet. They're all on the F450 chassis, so that means they have that 350 horsepower V8 engine uh, that's hauling them around, and that's really plenty of power for a smaller motorhome like that. Now let's go ahead and look at the floor plans that they offer under 30 feet. And we'll start with the 24B. It's 26 feet long. It's actually a very nice floor plan. I like it. It's very compact, and it offers you the option of theater seating as well. And I wish more brands offered that regularly in their smaller Class C RVs. Next up is the 25R. The 25R is 28 feet long. It allows you to have both a sofa and a dinette and still gives you that theater seating option. And they add in an outside kitchen too. Now, the next floor plan we're gonna look at is the 26M. It's also 28 feet long, but what they do is they give you more room in the bathroom by switching it and putting it all across the rear of the RV. There's still a theater seating option. There's the outside kitchen, but they give you plenty of walking around space by putting a Murphy bed in the plan. That's a great idea. Next up is the Odyssey 27U. It's 29 feet, so it's just under 30 feet long. And here you get a larger kitchen and you get a king bed. So that's nice as well. All right, those are the floor plans that come with the Integra Odyssey. Number two on my list today is the Jayco Red Hawk SE. It has two floor plans that are under 30 feet in length. And all of these are on the Chevy 4500 chassis. That means you get a 401 horsepower V8 engine with it. That'll be, again, plenty of power to move around these smaller RVs. Now, let's take a look at the floor plans that are available. First up is the 22A, and it is 25 feet in length. It's very compact. There's no theater seating option here, and I really wish there was, but you do get a slide in the living area, and so that opens up some of that area for walking around space. Next up is the 22C. It's 25 feet long too but they put more bedroom area in it due to the slide being there instead. 
Once again, no theater seating though, and I sure wish they would offer that option. All right, so that's what Jayco is offering for the Red Hawk SE under 30 feet. Let's move to number three on our list. That's the Winnebago Mini Winnie. It has four floor plans under 30 feet of length, and we're back to the Ford chassis, but you have your choice between the F-350 or F-450 chassis. Again, the 350 horsepower V8 engine is in there. Now let's look at their floor plans. The first one up is the 22M. It's 24 feet in length. There's a slide for more bedroom area there. That's great. They have a large dinette area, but again, no theater seating option here. And next up is the 22R. It's only 23 feet in length, so it's the smallest one in the group that we're going to be talking about today. There's no slides here. Absolutely none. So there's very little wasted space in this plan. Now, a lot of people actually like not having slides, so this could be a great consideration for them. Next up is the 25B. It moves up to 26 feet in length. There's no slides again, but with the added length, they could put in a sofa as well as a dinette. So that's great. And finally, for the Winnebago Mini Winnie is the 26T, and it's 28 feet in length. It has two slides in it, and that makes for a larger bedroom and a larger living area. And there is, here we go finally, optional theater seating involved. Okay, so those are the three brands and the three models that I wanted to share with you today of Class C RVs under 30 feet in length from brands that are known for quality and customer service. Are these all of the Class C brands that I can recommend under 30 feet? Not really, no. Really, there's more, but I can include them all in a video here on YouTube. So all of my recommended brands in really under 30 feet and over are found in my guidebook on Class C's and Super C's and buying them. So if you download my guidebook, uh, you'll be able to view that entire list of recommended brands and models. And if you want it, you can also get my personal help as you go through the buying process. Now, one more thing I want to mention, remember that before you buy any new RV these days, get an RV inspection before you buy because even quality brands like the ones that we've talked about in this video and podcast, even they are having some quality control issues these days. And many dealers are not doing a good pre-delivery inspection before you take delivery. So get the RV inspection. Don't take delivery then until all of the problems that the inspector finds are fixed to your satisfaction, because that way you can save frustration. You can save stress and anxiety of not getting a fully functioning RV until many months down the line when the dealer finally gets around to fixing everything. Instead, if you'll have that RV inspection, make sure they fix everything before you take delivery, then you will get the RV you paid for from the very first day of ownership, and you can enjoy your Class C RV under 30 feet. Well, that's it for now. Have safe and happy travels, my friends. Until next time.